So if you guys kind of notice in the first three examples, one of the helpful tips on when defining the domain was to find the domain first of the two functions. And if you look at the domain of f of x, that's linear, so that's all the real numbers. If you look at the domain of g of x, that's quadratic, so that's all real numbers, right? So if this was addition, subtraction, or multiplication, we know that the, the product, the sum, or the quotient, the domain of those would also be all real numbers, right? Because if the two functions are all real numbers, then whatever you add, subtract, or multiply is still going to be all real numbers. Division's different, though. Because division, what are you doing with division? You're now putting a function in the denominator, yes? And putting something in the denominator brings up a restriction that we've talked about, where the denominator cannot equal 0. So if I do f divided by g of x, I get x plus 3 divided by x squared minus 3x. So now I have to set my denominator equal to 0. Factor, use the zero product property. Would it have mattered if these were both x minus 3's and that divided out? It would this still, what would this be called? Remember when they divide out? That's called a movable. movable whole, right? But does that affect the domain? Is it still not like, is it still part of the domain or not part of the domain? No, it's still a discontinuity, right? It doesn't matter if it's divided or not. Okay? I'm, I'm, just say, I'm just saying, like, I didn't choose that example because I didn't want to, like, to confuse you. But like, if there, remember, guys, holes are discontinuities. Just because they divide out doesn't mean they like, don't exist. They're still holes. Okay? But anyways, so now the two values that are not in my domain are 0 and 3. Are those the only values that are not in my domain? This is all real numbers, and that was all real numbers. But when I divide them, I'm only concerned about the two values that are not in my domain. right? So if we're going to use the number line example again, because I kind of like it. 0 doesn't work, and 3 doesn't work. So my domain is from negative infinity to 0, union 0 to 3, union 3 to infinity. Question? Um, why is it equal to 0? Because when I set it equal to 0, 